Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So you have seen my six month hair update and it's great because my hair is growing about two and a half inches. What I did, I twisted it up for you guys so that I can show it to you a little bit more clearly. All right guys, so this is the hair. It's all twisted on one side. And I'm happy because it kind of looks all full. You know, you can go upwards and doesn't really look like any hair is missing but you see like this twist is super thin these two right here are super thin so I'm thinking most of the thinning is you know in between each of these twists you know here's some of the little baby hairs growing back in there right here some hair you can't really tell so what I think is gonna happen and this is why I didn't want to cut it off again is that eventually as all the hair grows then it, you will start to see the thinning less and less and less and you know the twists will get thicker and thicker until maybe you know there is no difference between the two sides whatsoever when I feel the side that's thin you know I could feel some really th like see those twists see the difference in thickness I know and one can say well maybe you took more from you know one of the twists and put it together but I tried to part it as evenly as I could just to make sure that that doesn't happen and I realized as I was twisting right at the root it's fairly thick and as you get further down it, it starts to thin out a little bit more so I definitely know it's growing back. What I want you guys to know is the regimen I'm doing. It's very simple. I'm not changing it. Remember how I made my black soap hair shampoo? I am using that to wash my hair. I wash my hair twice. And that's it. Then when I come out of the shower, what I do is I use this bottle of black Jamaican castor oil, about that much of black Jamaican castor oil, and then I fill the rest up with filtered water. And what I'll do is I will spray that right on my hair. One thing you should know about this mixture is that castor oil and water don't mix. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, every time you're about to spray it in your hair, just give it a shake. Spray it. Shake spray it. After I spray that on my hair, I will use my shea butter mixture and I will just go ahead and put that right over everything to seal in all the moisture right into my hair. If I am leaving, if I'm wearing like a beanie hat, I will put on a plastic baggie, I will put on my satin scarf and I will go ahead and put on my beanie hat over all of that. If I'm wearing my wig, I will just put my wig right over my hair because with some of my wigs you can see through and if I'm wearing a plastic baggie or a, you know, satin cap, you can probably, you know, notice that it's there. So that's it if I'm going out. And if I'm staying home, I will, after I put on the shea butter mixture, I will just go ahead and put on my satin cap and just leave my hair alone for the rest of the day. And guys, that is it. I am not putting anything else in my hair. I have a little secret mixture of some essential oils that I am putting on the part with the alopecia. So you might want to stay tuned for that. Thank you ladies so much for all the encouragement that I was getting when I found out my hair was thinning and all the ideas and, and suggestions. They were all helpful and they are very much appreciated. And guys, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. Don't be a stranger. Let's stay connected and I will see you soon. Bye guys.